financial illiteracy is the biggest financial crisis that we have going on in the world, not only our country. And so that's a mission I could get behind and I want to make a difference in this way. Hi, this is Jerry from Touching Hearts at Home here in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Today, I'm interviewing one of my very good friends, Kim Carlson, actually from Sandpoint, which is north of here quite a ways. And she's a financial strategist, and I will let her introduce herself. So I, yes, financial strategist, um, focused on education, and my mission is literacy. So what brought you into the realm of financial strategies? What, did, what was your process there? So I originally just was trying to figure out what do I do for myself and my husband? He asked me, um, he doesn't mind working hard. We own a concrete company, so he does work really hard. Um, could you please figure out something so that I don't have to work until I die? <laughs> Fair enough. Let me, let me see what I can do to figure this out. And the more I learned the more I realized how little I know. And then I looked around me, I'm like, nobody else knows this either. Everyone around me is just hoping for the best or pretending like they know. Oh. Like, okay, so for people, anyone who will listen, this, the cat is out of the bag and and this, the secret is out. So I want to share with as many people as I can how to educate themselves in finances because it's not taught in the schools. My first call to action would be educate yourself. Create a plan or talk to a professional as far as if this happens, then what do I do? And so what I like to do for people is create a holistic strategy for their entire financial life. And that can be adjusted as the seasons of our life change. But the more you know, the better you're able to handle any situation that comes up. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then just a basic tool is, um, you know, like you said, that long-term care policy, look into that and find out if that is a feasible thing to put into your budget. And if it isn't, then, you know, that's something that we need to plan for. Um, but another option for that is that life insurance policy. And um, that gives you, more options than what people typically realize. It's not just about after you're gone. It's it's a good tool to prepare for the, the last part of your life where you have unexpected things happen, um, whether that's your health or, or whatever, most likely health. But those expenses that you are outside of your control. And so it the, with those writers, it's like each one is a contract and you have to um, read the contract, or if you're not sure what it means, have a loved one be an advocate for you, but get those things in place while your health is good because mm -hmm. life insurance is something that you may not qualify yeah. or might be outside of um, being feasible for your budget if you wait too long. I can't stress that point enough either for a call to action is to be proactive as opposed to reactive. Mm -hmm. I, in this field, I've only been around for a short time, but I've had some clients that were not prepared mentally. Um, they had some dementia or unable to make decisions for themselves and they didn't have situations in place that needed to. So it would be a very sad situation um, because of that, both financially, but also I'm sure that her choices just went down substantially. And I think that was another call to action from Beth Gwynn, who is a part of Oasis Senior Living, just be proactive and knowing what you want and strive for that. So you have choices, but when you don't have these choices, you're going to be in crisis management and it's really hard to um, fix that later on. So how can they get a hold of you? Um, I have a website. It's um, my business in Sandpoint is How Money Works Learning Center. And so you can get a hold of me on my website, howmoneyworks.com forward slash Kim Carlson. And my phone number and my uh, calendar is, is on there. Uh, I believe it has my email on there too. So great. 
Well, this has been a fabulous discussion, very relevant for the clients that we serve. And I look forward to talking to you soon.